Okay, let's see what we can find in here. So I wonder how many times that, that golem actually uh, respawns. Does he respawn straight away, or do we have to wait each time? I guess we could always test that out on the server. Oops! Oh. Okay. It's all about humanity. Hello everyone and welcome back to Craftopia. I'm your host, 2005 Guy Vro 2. Okay, so we're starting roughly where we start uh, left off last time. I collected a little bit more shellfish and we've got five more ingots of the, um, not ingots, but the uh, uh, cogwells going because there is one additional item that we want to make ASAP. Uh, granted, we need um, five more water, sorry, ten more water, and that is to make the sprinkler right here. So we've also almost got enough. Let's quickly see. Ah, just have to wait for the, the water. So while we're waiting for that, let's make a couple more storage chests. Now the thing is, we are we are well, we've pretty much run out of iron, so we need to get some more iron. Now there is one way, well two ways to do it. We can go to the next island or we can take on the boss. At the moment we are woefully unprepared for the boss, but that is the quickest way to get lots and lots of better swords. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, let's see, that requires four cogwheels. Oh. Okay, well, don't really need it just yet. And that also needs iron in order to make those. Okay. So let's quickly put down the rest of the gear that we made last time. So the reaction or ripening chamber, sorry. I almost said reaction chamber. So let's put that one over here. So we can put food in it, we can put feces in it. Feces basically gives us uh, potassium nitrate. We get a um, saltpeter. So we could make two saltpeter. Granted, we can't really use it straight away. Unless, can we make an explosive drum with, wait a minute. No, we can't make the explosive drum yet, so yeah, it's not really worth doing that, but I mind what's done is done. Uh, let's make a couple of storage chests just so that we can dump some crap. Uh, we can't make that one because we need five steel. Uh, this one only requires copper, so we can do a couple of those. Oh, three because we've run out of stone. So we need to get more stone going as well. So what I might do is I might quickly get some more resources, and then we that then we can meet each other at the um, yeah. Seeing that we can also get the titanium and silver and make that lot too, so we get better weapons at least. So that's that one. Let's also get cheese or sausages. Let's just do the sausages for the moment. Okay. Uh, so let's put these boxes in. The question is, where do we want them? Let's put them next to over here. Now, unfortunately, we can't get these ones to snap in. Uh, it would be nice if we could, but as far as, uh, as far as I'm aware, we can't actually get them to snap. And they always drop, so let's we go from the top view. Can we do that? We can roughly estimate where it's going to be and try to get it as straight as possible. Uh, 
It drops a little bit off, but... Okay. So let's drop some stuff that we don't need, like those ones for the moment. Those, those... The PC... Squeak, squeak. Uh, we don't need that at the moment. Damn, that's an annoying seagull. Okay. We don't need the Pokeball just yet. Although, no, let, let's leave that to later on when we get the generator up and running. That way we can make sure that it does or doesn't work. I suspect that we need it in order to capture creatures to power the generator. But we've yet to get the generator up and running, so let's put that in. But what we can do is, did I drop off the... No, oh, they're still in our inventory. Okay, so red flowers, red herbs gives us healing potions. We can make three. Let's also eat something. Let's put this one down here. There we go, and then have those over here. Now let's grab that steel pick and get some resources.
Okay, so I was just wondering, with this chappy in front of us, maybe it's a case of I'm not giving him enough time to talk, because on the island, uh, sorry, on the other island we had a blacksmith, and if we just stood after he spoke a little bit, uh, we were able to interact with him. So let's see if we can do the same with this chap. Although it looks like he's allergic to the water, just like the animals are. Nope. No interaction at all. Okay, so definitely don't know what we have to do with that chappy. If there's something that we can do with this, because he's this is formed because of this thing. I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got a little bit of uh, material, so let's get all these done. All 99. <laughs> Let's make another one of those things. So we can get the titanium going. Oh, it's right on the edge. Okay, titanium. Not going to get much out of that one by looking at it. Okay. Let's do that. Move that over. Okay, something that we would definitely want to store there be oh we need one more bone. Okay. Let's store that in there temporarily. Okay, so we've got the 20 there. So we should be able to make the... Um, sprinkler. Okay, so if you have a sprinkler and you've got, let's say, two rows of four, if you stick it right smack in the middle of the... of the... Um, of, of, of four of them, so let's say right here, or a little bit more to the left, it basically sprinkles all eight of them at the same time. And then basically you don't have to constantly water it with the bucket backwards and forwards constantly. So there's nothing really that we can make just yet. Let's grab those. Okay. Let's put the sand in there just temporarily so it's out of the way. There we go. Let's put some of the wood in there as well. Okay. Actually, same as let's put the uh, the the iron, uh, sorry ingots in the the third chest. Might be a little bit easier that way. Oh no, we've got all the food items in there. Ew. In that case, let's make another chest. Get rid of all the ingots and stuff. Let's make it three. Speaking of which, um, we need more furs, don't we? We've only got one fur. Basically, my idea was to make some more armor as well. Then again, we can't actually make the armor just yet, but we can make the bow. Um, let's make a couple more arrows at least. Uh, so, let's say 40, that should make it a nice reasonable number. We've got 32 already, that will make it a total of um, 72. 
Let's see if we can get one more bone from there. Uh, let's also put these down. Um, how much did we need for the... Oh, we'll have to wait till they're done. In that case, let's quickly get some more bits from a deer. And I shall be right back with you guys in just a sec.
Okay, it looks like we're ready to go after the um, the chests. Uh, so we've got one which is an escape, which we which could be pretty much anything actually. Um, I've had the initial one where it was uh, a case of going up a uh, up a very long wall, um, which can't really be done on the initial stamina, but that's the way you around it. At least there was. I don't know if that is still the case. Uh, and then there's the um, one that is on a very long bridge, which we found in the multiplayer, uh, which you can get knocked off the edge and wind up into quite a bit of lava. Uh, so for either one, I'm basically preparing this flooring just in case. So let's start with the first one, uh, after which we can quickly go out and well, do the other one, <laughs> see what kind of uh, weapons we can find at the end of it. Now, granted, I'm currently also picking up all the pieces that we find because later on we might be able to make some explosives as well. And uh, of course, the reason why I got all the um, wood and stone from this area was because it was always in the way when we were after those, um, those deer. Okay, so I think this was the initial dungeon. Nope, this one's the escape. Okay, let's do that one. Let's see what we've got here. Level 4 receptionist. Something over there. Let's quickly grab that. Straight away we get a good sword. So we've currently got 150 damage, and that was 155 damage. Sweet. Hmm. Okay, and it's a big wall one. Okay. Got a suitable strategy for that one. Nope, brown button. No, that's not quite as high up as I wanted to put it. There's another one. Three is normally the uh, the maximum mods that you actually need to use on this one. There we go. Let's take that one off and put that one back in. And there we go, we're in. Nice, we've got our first one of those. Okay, we've got a rubbish wooden stick. Oh, we've got two swords and a pickaxe. We've got two handed sword and a reasonable sword. We've got a copper bow and more junk. Okay, well, unfortunately, it looks like. The first load of uh, bits and pieces are all junk, we're going to sell them all. Uh, we'll get a fair bit of money for them. Uh, that sword is reasonable, it's not as good as the one that we're, we've currently got, which is the titanium one. Um, this one is very good, I've uh, used that quite a lot in the previous uh, couple of episodes. Okay, so let's see what's behind that wall over there. Okay, just that ones. So let's drop off the, uh, the bits that we don't need. There we go.
cows dropping out of, out of the sky again from up there. Let's quickly go to our uh, platform. We'll just before it actually. And some of the stuff that we really don't need. There we go. That should give us a fair penny afterwards. Let's see, we've got 85 platforms, 9 of those. We're going to need quite a few more of those diagonal shape pieces as well. Uh, let's go for about 20. That should be more than enough. Okay. Uh, there's nothing that we can smelt yet, but we can turn that sand into glass, so let's do that. Um, is there anything that we want to do here? Need 20 iron for those. So the answer is no. Do we have any? Yep. Okay. That's a little bit of a load off. So let's put down back there again. Let's put that there. Uh, let's put these two swords away. We'll need that la again later on for when we go to a different area altogether. Uh, looks like we're starting to get a bit hungry. Can we eat those without any negative effects? Yes, we can. Nice. Um, let's put them down there then. Okay, so anything else that we can drop off? Not really. Not so nice we make another, um, what's it called, uh, market. Let's just drop that in there temporarily. Um, Yep, that will do. Let's go after the uh, the big boss. We need this iron anyway. Sorry about this guys, I just can't uh, stop myself. Okay, Mr. Bear, we are ready for you again. Dungeon of the Island. Okay, let's do it. What do we get? Nice. Sword and a talon. I wonder which level he's going to be this time. Nice.
throw any goodies in here. Yep. Well, not really. <laughs> Okay, next door, wait. Nice. Hopefully it won't be too long before we can make some, um, some oil ourselves. Okay. Doing this, we're constantly damaging our uh, sword. Let's have a quick look at the dur durability currently. Ooh! Wasn't expecting to see you here. There we go, and the doors opened up for us. Okay, here we go. Time to meet the boss. Actually, let's do that uh, skill point first. So we can, still can't do that one just yet, which we need to do another three up here. Okay, let's go for our tree. So that's the thing that we're going to use the most down here. Okay, where is he? So he's on level 15. Same level as we are now. I guess we could always just use that one. Or can you actually use that one with the oh as well? There we go. That's what the thing that we were waiting for. Damn it, stop jumping! Okay. 
bingo. And we've got 40 iron out of that, so that's nice. Okay, what else did we get? We got um, a stone sword bucket and an iron sword. Very nice. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. So I wonder how many times that, that golem actually uh, respawns. Does he respawn straight away or do we have to wait each time? I guess we could always test that out. Sounded like there was somebody else in there. Okay, we've got a sword and a cooked fish. Oh, the, uh, the loot at the moment? Not so good. One ten, one thirty, one forty. That one might be worth keeping. It's definitely not the best loot that we've had so far, but again, this is the main island. Uh, when we get to the other island, the loot is a lot better. Okay. Oop, let's pick up that stone while we're at it. Okay, so let's see if that dungeon works straight away after we go there. I wonder if we can harvest it that way. It is a lot of uh, rigmarole doing it again and again and again, but. Let's see if it's uh, respawned straight away. Looks like it might have. That's quite nice. Give me your loot! And skill points. Nice. We can't open up any chests or anything at the moment. We have upgraded our skills, so let's go for that one again. Not sure if it actually that helps with increase of damage or not, but we can have a look at it later. Anyone else? Okay, let's quickly have a little look at our sword. We've got 39 hits and then it's damaged beyond, well, not beyond repair, but we can still repair it. Okay, so which one are we going to use afterwards? Um, that's two handed. We'd rather not do that. Okay, that one it is. Oh, what's he doing in there? that we can eat. Let's do that one. Okay, here we go again. Has he respawned straight away? So if he has, that's going to... Yeah, he has. That's going to be really good for us now. Sweet. So we need the iron.
one. Six. Was that more or less than last time? Oh, it's about 40 now. Wrong one. Uh oh, not good. Out. How oh, could I miss that? Nice. Another 40 um, iron. That's really good. Okay, so we can go back out again. Now we've got uh, 80 iron, so that should be enough for a little while. So we need. Is that going to be enough? Because we need 20 steel. I think we need to do it one more round. Nice. So let's see, we've got 80. I think we need a hundred in order to make twenty steel, don't we? Hmm. And uh, yeah. So we've got twenty dangerous silver. That's a little bit of a shame that okay, and our sword Definitely needs repair, along with the... Uh, oh, okay. Well, shall we try one more go? Push our luck? Or actually, shall we quickly drop this stuff off and sell it? Let's do that. Uh, we've got quite a lot of talons again and uh, things. Might be to get rid of a couple of those. Okay, so which one was it? That was the best one. Let's take that one. Let's also put the seeds in here because we're going to need those later. And let's also smelt down the iron that we've currently got. And the silver. Oops! 
Oh. Okay. Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Okay, so with that, that's how we can make some weapons, we can sell it. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else we can use silver for, other than weapons, pickaxes, stuff like that. But the best pickaxe is the titanium pick so far, then the gold pick, and then whatever comes after that. Um, the problem is durability on all of those. Uh, let's get a another market going so that we can sell a lot of stuff at the same time. Okay, let's get rid of all these. That's all the fangs, all the rubbish swords, let's see, oops, sorry. Ah, keep hitting the wrong thing. Okay. So we've got more mushrooms, we've got deer meat, we've got some feces there, shellfish. Um let's put those in here. Although I think we've got those actually down the other side as well. Let's have a small peek. Oh yeah, we need those as well. Let's put that in there. Okay, so let's make fish that we need. Or fish fillets. I swore we had more fish than that, but... Might have to make another fishing pole and do some more fishing then. Definitely, actually, looking at that. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so all that we need now are the fillets. So, uh, do we have any fillets in these boxes or? Just over there. Just over here, and of course, uh, yep. Yeah. I can go in there now. Okay, so they can go. Oh, oh, Le legendary sh uh, shrimp, huh? And they're uh, raw. Oh, okay. Didn't know that there were multiple different types of shrimp that you can catch. Okay, so let's see. Uh, just made some sausages with herbs, so that uh, we don't have to use the, the raw sausages. We can just use that one instead. There we go, and that gives us 40, 25, and 50. So that's not too bad. So let's put the raw sausages in this, oops, into this one. We'll have to put uh, those in another box at some point. We just have to have a big crate for food, big crate for this, big crate for that, and so on. So yeah, we'll have to make some more steel. And speaking of steel, I've done that yet another run uh, with the golem, hence why I've got two skill points now. And speaking of which, uh, let's quickly get that one. And apparently you can actually increase that one multiple times as well. What's this one? 
your uh, your attack will increase every time you use it. It's an enemy. Okay, let's focus on those two as well. Uh, and then we can get whatever's down here. Interesting. Okay, uh, what are we doing for? It's okay, so we've got those, we've got those, we've got five of those. Okay. So we need the fish fillets. I wonder. So if we. That one's raw, that one's fresh, that one's legendary. So if we were to cook it normal, I guess we'd get something really good out of it. Uh, let's just do one. And see what happens. Granted, we don't really have much space left in there. Okay, so we've got a raw uh, legendary fish fillet. Okay, so the fillet stack at least. Uh, let's try that one. We get two fillets. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't want to eat that raw. Yuck. Gross. Looking at the wrong thing again. And that one looked interesting. Luxury fillets. Nice. So if you get one of those uh, sailfishes, it looks like a swordfish. You get luxury uh, luxury meat out of that. Well, we need that later on anyway, so let's do that too. That's nice to know. I wonder how far that humongous upload is. So the upload that we're doing at the moment uh, for the multiplayer. That's uh, roughly about 69 gigs in size. Looks like the shellfish are dropping back in. Okay, so let's keep the shrimp as is. Um, let's see, do we still have any still left in that box? We've got iron. Uh, let's make one more steel ingot in that case. Just the one. Hopefully we've still got enough iron left. Three. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we, we still have more than enough iron left. Okay, so that's that one. So let's make a big storage chest. Now we can put that one down next to the cooking pot for all the food items. Okay, so we've got the luxury ones, we've got those. And legendary. I think we only need 10 fillets anyway. Okay, so let's get all those in there as well. Uh, let's do the milk as well, because we've got the small life potions anyway, so we don't have to worry too much about that. 
Okay, um, cook fish, we can eat that later. Let's turn the animal flesh into sausages. Okay, so that's a little bit more room in here. We'll have to turn those feces later on into potassium. Uh, let's see, what else are we missing? I think we're, we're about there, aren't we? So let's see. And with the next one, we can make chocolate. Rice crackers. Thing is, can we plant rice? That would be a nice thing, but I've yet to find a way to do that. Uh, see, it would, uh, wouldn't allow us to do it each time. Okay. There we go, so that's now all done. So I'm going to have to call the episode there for the moment, guys. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, please leave a like. If you didn't, please let me know why. Also, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. That's it. Let's quickly do some armor. <laughs> Black Knight. And there we go. Nice.